All right, guys, uh, we will start the session now. Myself, Lovepreet Verma, I'm the founder of this company, and I have a team of experts. Uh, this demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes, and I will cover almost everything, how our listenings will be there, how our readings will be there, and we will discuss writing tasks too in detail, how to get more than seven bands. If you will have any question in between, you can ask me at any point of time, I would be happy to answer. Is everyone uh, is comfortable with English? English sub ke liye theek hai, comfortable hai, or should I use Hindi as well little bit? No, sir, comfortable in English. Okay. No, sir, comfortable. Right. What about Harry? Okay. So guys, so we, are the, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team. And our all trainer are IDP and BC certified. So you're going to get training from certified trainers only. In normal centers, what happened? They hire those students who achieve six or seven each band. Students turn into trainer, but we don't hire such trainer. We have only experts having more than 10 years or 17 years of IELTS experience. Every day, Zoom live instructor led classes will be there. One and half hour class will be there Monday to Friday, Saturday, there will be mock test. Sunday, we share resource material. Apart from this, we will give you one digital account for six months. Whether you're going to join us for one month or two months, we'll provide you the account for six months in which you will be able to practice 160 test at your own end, apart from the live classes so whatever uh, every day there will be live classes for sure apart from the live classes you can do lots of practice at home uh, there is a new participant pradeep pradeep is my voice is audible screen is visible to you kindly confirm okay thank you so Pradeep, I just started, as I said, uh, we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts and IDP certified trainers. Every day Zoom instructor led live classes will be there. One and half hour class uh, will be there. Sometime it extends to one hour 45 minutes. And uh, Monday to Friday classes, Saturday there will be mock test and your trainer will evaluate your level every Saturday. Sunday we share resource material. One digital account we will provide you in which you can practice reading, listening, writing at your own end apart from the live classes. And this account will be activated for six months. In addition to this, we will give you one mobile application in which you will be able to review your own recorded session. So at our in our classes, every session is going to be recorded at the back end every day so that if a student miss his or her session, he or she can explore the session next day in his or her mobile. Plus, you will be able to review 200 plus previous recorded session from different trainers. You will have access of this mobile app for six months as well. Regular assignments will be there. Regular feedback will be there. Five full length mock tests will be there in the mobile, in the digital account that we will provide you. In addition to this, in a month, there will be four another mock test. So all together in a month, you can do nine mock tests. This is the digital account guys, which we will provide you. I will show you this account lively in the live interface. Just give me a second. Is this account is visible to all of you guys? It says love Verma here, win your English logo here. All of you, Arun, Hardilal, Harsh, Pradeep. Yes, sir. Thank you. So basically we will give you this digital account for six months. Your name will be shown here. If you click on online test, you will see two domains. IELTS academic, IELTS general. We will give you the access of both. If you are a student of academic, you would have entire material of journal as well here. You can explore uh, every module. So for an example, if you click on IELTS academic, 
here you will see five full length mock test you can click here and take test it's going to be full length 152 minutes it will take 82 questions will be there the similar structure will be there that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam first listening will start once you will finish listening reading will start automatically once you will finish with reading writing will start automatically and once you will be done with your mock test right away you will get the evaluation how many right you did how many wrong you did you will be able to see the analysis right way so you can do a mock test at your own end every week uh, apart from this we will provide you four additional mock tests every saturday if you click on academic readings you will be able to see five section every section further going to have five further academic readings 40 questions 60 minutes full length readings will be there like 40 questions 60 minutes every test is going to be time bounded test that means uh, it's just going to be similar that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam the similar scenario will be there every test going to have a unique material you will not find this material even in any book not even in Cambridge so five into five 25 academic readings will be there if you click on listening again 25 listening unique listenings will be there so again you will be able to attempt a listening every day of all level like from the beginner level till the intricate level if you click on academic writings again five sections will be there every section further going to be have five writing tasks and every writing task going to be have two question writing task one and writing task two and it's going to have 60 minutes so two writing tasks two into five ten ten into five fifty you're going to be have 50 academic writing task here similarly you can practice real kind of speaking over here if you click on journal similarly five full length journal mock test will be there 25 journal readings here 25 listenings would be there and 50 journal writing task will be there apart from this if your grammatical skills are not up to the mark if your gr grammar is weak you can go into challenge zone in this challenge zone you can enhance your grammatical skills by playing some challenges grammatical uh, concept challenges pronoun verb noun adjective tenses adverbs article conjunctions preposition punctuation all concepts are there so we're going to provide you this account for six months and if you click on dashboard you will be able to see your own performance how many you know tests you have done you can see the entire analysis here apart from this we'll give you one mobile app if you go to winyourenglish.com that is our company's website in the download section you will be able to find this mobile application after enrollment once you will download it we will provide you a license key and once you will fill a license key you will be see the screen just like this on your mobile if you're a student of academic you will be able to see your own academic sessions plus previous session and similarly uh, with the journal so coming back to the presentation guys I have uh, shown you this account that we're going to provide you and this mobile app. Any question till this point? Arun, uh, Elias Nuri, Hardi Dalal, Harsh, Harry, and Pradeep. Any question? No, sir. Okay. All right. No, sir. Okay. So how right. much uh, do we have to pay for this uh, participation? Uh, sir, we'll, we'll come to that point, okay? We'll come to okay. that point, for sure. So kindly stay till the end. It will take 25 to 30 more minutes. All right, so guys, this is kind of schedule we follow from first uh, till fourth week. As I said, Monday to uh, Monday to Friday classes will be there. Uh, just give me a second. There is a message in the chat box. Uh, Pradeep, myself, Lovepreet Verma, as you just uh, asked in the chat box to introduce myself. Just give me, I would like to give you a little brief. Myself, Lovepreet 
Verma. I'm the founder of this company and uh, I have team of experts. And this demo will take approximately 30 more minutes. So I, I just, uh, I have shown that we are the first institute in India having PhD English experts and IDP certified trainers. I'll explain these things at the end of the class as I have already covered these things and I respect the time of everyone. I don't want to waste the time of everyone's guys. So at the end of the class, I'll repeat things. Okay. So from Monday till Friday, regular classes will be there one and a half hour to one hour 45 minute class will be there two to three module will be covered every day in the class plus reading and writing task assignment will be given every day. So you're going to get the assessment every day of writing task two or one, whatever the task will be given to you. You're going to get the reading assignment every day. Speaking will be there on everyday basis. It's not like group discussion. One to one speaking will be there and you will get the feedback right away because speaking and writing are the weakest area in India. I mean, students are encountering. So similarly, Tuesday, it's writing task two will be discussed in detail. In detail means your trainer will update you how to write down introduction, how to write down body paragraphs and conclusion, how to write down conclusion, what are the essential parameters of writing tasks to get higher bands. We'll discuss it in the upcoming slides. So guys, speaking will be there on everyday basis. Two to three module will be covered every day. Apart from this, you can do lots of practice in this digital account which I just showed you. Those who missed this digital account and this mobile app functionality, I'll sh show later on at the end of the session. So Saturday, there will be mock test. All the four modules will be assessed in detail. Your trainer will check your performance every week where your performance is going. Uh, Sunday, we share blogs, study material, videos and tips. Um, there is one person from Redmi Mobile. May I know the name, please? Sir, uh, sir or madam, can you rename your ID or just update me your name? I'll rename. Okay. So guys, this is how your trainer will evaluate your task. We will add you in a small WhatsApp group. Our groups are very focused. We do not give admission to any non-sincere students. So you will find 100% sincerity and discipline in our groups. So uh, your trainer will be there in your group. Once you will get any assignment like writing task two or any assignment and you will do at your own end on your notepad or in MS Word. Uh, once you will share it, our trainer will pick up and he or she will evaluate your task as per IDP and BC standards. Just like this task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. All these parameters will be assessed in thorough detail uh, in assessment. Now, guys, I'm going to show you how our listenings will be there in the classes. Uh, because most of the students, when they join any center, they might have many doubts that uh, how you guys will you know, proceed with the material. So we show each and everything in the demo so that you won't have any doubt before joining. So guys, in listening class, your trainer will update you tips and trainings of listening. Initially, fi initial five to 10 minutes, he or she will discuss what type of listening questions will be there in the real IELTS exam, where to focus, where not to focus. If you would have any query, any question like, for an example, you're facing trouble in map kind of questions and uh, you can ask your trainer, I'm having trouble solving these kind of questions. Then he or she will help you to resolve your doubt. Five to 10 minutes tips and training. After that, your trainer will ask you to write down uh, one to 40 numbers on your notepad. So once you will write down one to 40 numbers on your notepad, this kind of video will be played at front of you. I'm just going to play it for 30 seconds, guys. So you will come to know the quality of the video. Just for 30 seconds, I'm going to play it. Listen carefully. It's a cycling holiday for families. Would that suit you? It certainly would. I enjoy
Joey work. Now turn to section two. Right. Next, I want to talk about Rachel Malco. I came across the third, wasn't it? That's right. It's more a way. Those of you who are city dwellers know that things go on 24 hours a day, so city dwellers often suffer from interrupted sleep. It's also All right, was it audible to all of you guys? No, sir. Can you show it again? Okay, sure, definitely. Listen, can we have one or two people in the group who don't eat meat or have some sort of food allergy, so we're always very careful about that. Yes, I'm allergic to cheese. Would that be a problem? No. As long as we have enough notice, we can deal with that. That's great. Okay. Was it audible to all of you guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. What about Seema, Pradeep and all? Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So guys, once uh, your trainer will cover tips and training, he or she will ask you to write down one to 40 numbers. And once you will write down, this kind of video will be played at front of you. Once you will mark one to 40 answers on your notepad, the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer. And he or she will dictate you all the answers from first till 40th. If you will still have any doubt, for an example, 26th, you got C instead of A. You can ask your trainer, I got C of 26 and why it is A. Then he or she will go back to 26th question and help you to resolve the doubt and explain you the logic behind it, why it is A and why it is not C. Now, similarly, in reading class, initially, initial five to 10 minutes will be spent by the trainer to dictate what kind of reading questions will be there, what type of strategy should be there, where to focus, where not to focus. After that, this kind of screen will be shared to you. He or she will explain you how to read the instructions, how to read the questions, how to mark keywords. And after that, once you will read the questions, you will be given eight to 10 minutes to read the paragraph. Once you will read the paragraph in eight to 10 minutes, come up with certain answers. The real answers will be shown to you by the trainer. And if still you would have any doubt, for an example, 10th, you got B instead of A, you can ask your trainer, I got B and why it is A, then he or she'll go back to 10th question and explain you the logic behind it, why it is a and why it is not B. Why I'm saying that you would have full freedom to ask your queries and question in the class. So you would have full freedom to ask any doubt in the class and he or she would be happy to answer you. Now, now guys, we will discuss how to get more than seven bands in writing because writing is the major pain area for majority of students there there is a technique there are some fundamentals and some techniques are there to get higher bands until this point any doubt anyone arun nuri hardi dala harsh pradeep seema any doubt so please discuss the mcqs of both listening and reading so that's that is going to be discussed in class in 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 thorough detail in demo we will okay, discuss uh, writing task two today how to get more than seven bands right okay sir thank you okay, you're welcome all right guys so basically there are four parameters four pillars in writing assessment 
to get more bands we need to focus on these four pillars four parameters first one is task achievement and response second coherence and cohesion third lexical resource fourth grammatical range and accuracy now every pillar is having 0 to 9 bands and having 25% proportionate of band score so if you get 6 here 7.5 here 6.5 here seven here then the average of these four will be your band scores of writing task too now what is task achievement and response task achievement and response implies how you going to achieve the task how you going to respond the task for an example whether your task having all the essential factors of writing task too or not essential factor means for an example introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement if you will miss any of these three parts in introduction you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response similarly if you will write down less than 250 words still you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response third condition if you will write down irrelevant stuff if examiner is asking about hills and you are writing about sea or long drives that is going to be irrelevant so your content must be relevant to the topic then only you will get the desired band of bands of task achievement and response now coherence and cohesion implies a perfect connectivity or connection between ideas structure lines and paragraph coherence is basically a connectivity between ideas so you have to connect your ideas uh um, with the linkers uh, you know fillers cohesion implies a connection of structure so here you will use many connectors furthermore moreover in addition to that besides uh, in, you know firstly secondly thirdly a structure can be used to get coherence and cohesion bands lexical resource implies what type of vocabulary you going to use whether you going to use simple vocabulary or higher vocabulary some student just use high vocabulary words like super flory language and they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands because they use irrelevant words they just try to impress the examiner here we don't need to you know impress the examiner we need to use the relevant vocabulary only so i would say if don't use any vocabulary word high vocabulary word if you are not aware of you know use only those words which you are aware of grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you going to use whether you going to use simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence complex compound sentence you going to write down in passive voice even punctuation matters so all these four pillars going to be assessed in detail we teach our students how to work intensively on these four pillars in our classes now these are the five general type of essays guys any one type of essay would come in the real ielts exam opinionating essays will be there advantage disadvantage essays discussion essays will be there problem solution essays will be there direct question essays will be there any type of essay would come in the real ielts exam now every kind of essay is having its own unique treatment you cannot apply one treatment to all type of essays so we teach all our students how to deal with all type of essays individually now this is the high band assess uh, high band structure guys if you will follow this structure you will definitely get more than seven bands in writing task as i said introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement now what is the background information anyone can tell what is the background information arun nuri hardi dalal harsh pradeep seema anyone any guess 
guys kindly participate it's 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 going to help you in helping you know okay i will tell it so basically background information is an information which tells something about the topic in the past for an example in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but with the advent of modernization so you know breaking okay uh is it fine now mr arun yes sir okay so my voice is okay now everyone is it audible yes. okay yes yes it's audible thank you thank you so guys guys as i was saying about the background information background information tell something about the topic in the past in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but with the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing so here we have shown the extent ki pehle kya hota tha aur ab kya ho raha hai so i used masses instead of people masses is the synonym of people so in writing task 2 we will avoid the repetition of words we will use synonyms so redundancy should be avoided due to sensitivity of time sometime it's hard to write down the background information sometime in the real ielts exam it's hard to find the background inf information in that scenario we can write down a journal comment nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization that's it that is a journal comment dono mein se aap koi bhi likh sakte hain plus paraphrase the statement paraphrase is basically an an art you have to convert the question into your own words in the introduction you cannot write down the exact question in the introduction some people believe that others are against to this just like that plus thesis statement thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader that what we going to write down in further body paragraph it also links the introduction with the body paragraph as i said coherence and cohesion so it builds coherence and cohesion i'm going to discuss about these points in subsequent paragraphs or in upcoming paragraphs so this is a thesis statement with this statement alone examiner will come to know what he or she is going to write down in further body paragraph now in body paragraph it has been seen that students write so many points 10 15 points in 2 to 3 body paragraph but they fail to elaborate they fail to exemplify that's why they end up with 5.5 or 6 bands so what is the right strategy what idp or bc people looking forward so guys according to idp and bc we don't need so many points we just need 2 to 3 relevant points one point in one paragraph explain it well elaborate it well support it with example that's it your paragraph is ready so for 2 to 3 paragraphs basically you need 2 to 3 points similarly in conclusion you need to sum up the entire gist you need to write down the crux of the essay or you can rephrase your opinion first you have to paraphrase in the introduction in conclusion you can rephrase it with the different words you can rephrase it in the conclusion i'll show you everything step by step in upcoming slides so this is the structure guys you can take a screenshot of it if you want now guys in our every class in our every writing class we do have brainstorming sessions so basically why do have these kind of sessions i will explain you after this uh, activity we'll do a small activity those who will participate i will really appreciate those who will not participate just observe the class but don't leave the class um, it will take approximately 10 to 15 more minute guys so guys this is a real question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or negative development now imagine yourself you're living alone in canada on student visa or as an immigrant tell me the advantages of living alone one by one guys 
um, not in the chat box, just uh, unmute yourself kindly. Pradeep, Arun, Nuri, Harry, Pradeep, Seema. Yes, please. One by one. Just points, sir, by not leaving, points. Mm -hmm. Sir, by living alone, they can participate. Uh, they can do whatever they want to do. So one can enjoy full freedom. Yes, sir. No restrictions will be there. So one can enjoy full freedom. He or she can go anytime, anywhere. No one would be there to ask. Good point. Next. Nuri, Harsh, Harry, Pradeep, Seema. Uh, Pradeep said uh, he or she will become independent. So yes, one will become independent. He or she come to know how to survive a new environment. Yeah. Next point. Yes, Seema. They become responsible. Yes, one will become more responsible. Okay, guys, think about it. What skills you will learn if you will live alone or you migrate? Just imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada and what you would do. What would be the first skill you will learn over there? Pradeep, sir. Harry. Her, sir. No? Any skill, guys. We are doing brainstorming. Kindly participate. It will really help you to understand what we are doing. And after this uh, brainstorming, I'll, I'll give you an amazing uh, you know, feedback, an amazing fact I'll disclose. So just imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada. What would be the advantages of living alone? Full freedom will be there. One will become independent, more responsibilities. Uh, one will become more responsible. Uh, helps to explore. So Pradeep says helps to explore. Uh, in what sense, sir? Could you please elaborate? Okay. So helps to explore. I can just uh, um, more exposure will be there. You mean to say personal personally development? Yeah, more exposure will be there. So more exposure. He or she will expose to new culture, new environment, new people, uh, new skills. So personality development things will be there. One will develop his or her personality uh, while handling these uh, exposures or things. So one will develop new skills such as cooking, right? Cleaning of house, such skills, time management, budget management, more network. Pradeep sir said more network. Yes, he or she will build more network. It depends though, but essential skills, yes, one, you know, has to develop. Um, what other skills, guys? So one will learn the true value of family because when people live with the family, they take the family as granted. They don't value the family sometimes. So when they're living apart from the family, they come to know the real value of family. Apart from this, one will know how to manage budget. So once will, uh, you know, a person is living alone, he or she has to do work. One will earn, uh, one will come to know how to earn money, how to spend money, how to save money. So eventually he or she will come to know the, uh, know how to manage the budget. Okay, guys, tell me the biggest disadvantage of living alone. Sir, homesickness. Very good point, sir. Homesickness. So basically, uh, some people, those who live alone, they feel homesickness. They feel loneliness over there. Due to loneliness, loneliness, 
people fall into depression or fall into bad company. So we have to link the ideas like this. We have to build a connection. Remember coherence and cohesion. So due to homesickness, one can feel loneliness due to loneliness. He or she may fall into depression. So we have to build the link like this. We have to take care of coherence and cohesion while writing. Okay. What another disadvantage would be there? Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, is it right? So over expenditure, over expenditure. So it depends. Uh, some people don't, you know, do over uh, expenditure kind of things. Um, because uh, you can say it's uh, uh, financial crisis. One can face financial crisis because in family settings, two or three people would be there to bear the burden of the family or the entire budget, right? But if you are living alone or if a person living alone, he or she has to pay all the expenses alone, like uh, car, you know, insurance, gas, home mortgage on insurance and all the expenses. So one may face financial crisis. So we'll write down only those points which will be relevant. Uh, you have to justify yourself before writing down any point. Just imagine if it's going to be true in the real time or not. Right? So guys, we can also write down safety, lack of safety. If he or she is living alone and bad people come to know they may attack, right? So lack of safety will be there. Lack of family support will be there. So it makes the family bonding weak. Uh, yes, it depends. Yeah, surely less, you know, occasions will be there. Less family gatherings will be there. So lack of family support will be there no one will be there you know help in the to help in the emergency situation due to covered uh, you know in this pandemic those who live alone they know how hard it is like those you know who suffered from covid and living alone it's like hell living alone so uh, family is very important so those who live alone this is the biggest disadvantage uh, there, there is no family support. Yes, family, lack of family bonding will be there. So people, you know, distracted from the, you know, from the family bonding and less cultural activities will be there. What another disadvantage would be there? So um, laziness uh, or maybe careless? Uh, again, sir, it depends upon the person. So uh, we, we will write down only those points which would be relevant, like you know, some people are very active when they live alone. They, you know, indulge into other activities such as meditation, reading books, dancing, swimming. They, you know, embrace new activities. So it depends upon the personality. So homesickness, financial crisis, lack of safety, lack of family support. Um, what another disadvantage? Um, cultural shock, we can say. Sir, so sometime may be difficult to survive. Um, yeah, because no one will be there to help. You have to do all the activities alone, such as cleaning, you know, you cleaning of house, cleaning of utensils, uh, lots of activities, buying grocery, etc. Right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Those who participated and those who observed the basic purpose behind this activity is to let you know that we have such brainstorming activities in our every writing class, even in speaking class as well. Why we have integrated this activity because as per our research, we have seen that 95% students, those who face the real IELTS exam scenario, on IELTS exam day, they feel blank over there, like points are not coming to their mind. To overcome this kind of disability, we have integrated brainstorming session in our classes so that on daily basis, your brain will start functioning in this direction. You will start generating your content. In this session, your trainer will help you to generate the content. 
So once you will start generating content, you will have enough points in the real time, real else exam. So this is the basic purpose behind this activity, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, now I'm going to describe the same topic using this method. All right. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? Now we can attempt this kind of question into three ways. We can write down all the paragraphs in positive manner, or we can write down all the paragraphs in the negative, negative manner, or we can balance the statement. We can show the extent like 70% positive and 30% negative we can say that it has more positive consequences than the few negative ones we cannot show like 50 percent positive 50 negative that's going to be wrong but we have to show the extent these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence is a complex sentence in which we have covered journal comment plus paraphrase together. Now, in the question it is being asked, do you think this is a positive or negative development? We have to answer it in the introduction. I believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers. So we have shown our view, what we are thinking. We are thinking it has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes. So we have also shown that it has some negatives as well. Let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. This is a thesis line which basically directs the reader from introduction to the body paragraph. It also builds a link between introduction and body paragraph. Now in the body paragraph what we need to do we need to write down one point, elaborate it well, cite an example to support our main point. Now what is the one point? The single person family, those who live alone, we call it single person family, is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective. Do chizo se better hai jo akele rehte hai, do chizo in ki develop ho jati hai, do chizo se better hai, kin chizo se better hai, from better personal skill development and economical perspective. Kaise hai, kyun hai, how it is going to be better. That is going to be the part of elaboration. Now we're going to elaborate. A single member family. Now we shuffle the words. As I said, we need to use synonyms or we need to shuffle the words. A single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills such as cooking, cleaning of the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies and many more important skills. Until this point, we have covered how it is better as per personal skill development. Now we're going to touch the economical perspective. This makes someone self-dependent, which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. In a broader sense means if someone is, uh, you know, work doing a work or you know doing a job somewhere he or she is earning money he or she you know paying taxes so which eventually be beneficial for the economy for instance research shows that students who stay away from their home for their tertiary degrees higher degrees learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupils who study from home so here we have shown a comparison of those students who study from home and those who study far from home and those who study far from home developed many new skills and become self-dependent. So this is an example which basically justify our main point that why it is better as per personal skill development economical perspective. You can write down, you can make an example. It's not essential. The example should be from any newspaper or journal. No, you can make it, you can fabricate it. The entire idea behind is it should be supporting to your main point. That is the entire idea writing an example. Now, similarly in the second paragraph, uh, as we have balanced the statement, 
any question anyone guys uh, yes sir i have a question yes please uh, sir uh, uh, can you tell me uh, could you tell me uh, in first paragraph which line is th a thesis statement and which one is uh, like uh, uh, how rephrase or something sir so this is let us let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion basically is the thesis line okay right i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offer it is going to answer the question which is being asked in the question do you think this is a positive or negative development jo cheez hame puchi gayi thi uska answer bhi humne dena hai in introduction so this is the answer so that means it is uh, it's a uh, rephrase the question uh, paraphrase no no this is not uh, the paraphrase these days many people choose to live, live alone in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone ye dekh rahe hain aap first line aur yahan ki first line mein different words mein wahi cheeze batayi gayi hain yes. so this is basically paraphrase this is an art of paraphrase to okay. isi mein humne add kar diya thoda aur material especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is for higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there ki ye cheeze wahan pe normal ho chuki hain theek hai na so this is a paraphrase and journal comment together here we have answered the question and this is the thesis line which basically direct the reader from introduction to the body paragraph okay hope sir. i answered your question thank you sir okay you're welcome so in the second paragraph guys as we have balanced the statement in the first paragraph we have uh, written all the positive like 70% positive now we'll write down 30% negatives from the opposite view point the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well kaise hai kyun hai that we going to write down now that is a part of elaboration the increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days those who live alone suffer more from psychological problem these days living alone creates loneliness and depression whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share their sadness and stress again we have shown a comparison of those who live alone and those who live in a family settings if you write down a comparison if you will show a comparison that is wonderful to get higher bands the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative kaise for example a recent study reveals that the single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one would be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes so guys what we did we write down one point we elaborated it well we cite an example to support our main point that is the entire gist behind it to get higher bands in the conclusion you need to write down some concluding sentences phrases uh, like to sum up at the end to encapsulate the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era or modern era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so guys again we have reinforced our idea with the different words what we have written in the introduction with the different word we rephrase in the conclusion in this contemporary era this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences ki negative ki ilawa iske bahut sare positives bhi hain hence one can learn numerous important skills cardinal skills of life if he or she chooses to live alone so guys this is the end of um, writing task 2 if you have any question i would be more than happy to answer any question at this point anyone arun nuri harsh pradeep seema सर वर्ड लिमिट कंप्लीट हो रही है इसमें हां जी सर वर्ड लिमिट सी यू हैव टू राइट डाउन 
more than 250 words i would say 260 to 280 words and how to count count words some people may thinking how to count, count words so guys just count one line if your line has uh, 10 words and you have written almost 26 lines you would be on the safer side so aapne 260 words se 280 words ke andar limit rakhni hai if you go beyond 300 words might be there would be chances of having more grammatical errors if you are not uh, if your grammatical skills are uh, you know skills are not enough strong so i would say 260 to 280 words any other question uh, sir i have a question jaise humne isme mostly positive points likhe hain jaise like humne wahan pe ek line humne likhi thi na we believe uh, i believe this trend has more positive इसके बहुत सारे नेगेटिव है थोड़े से पॉजिटिव है ठीक है ना और बट फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वाला कॉन्ट्राडिक्टी हो जाता है सो वी विल नॉट राइट डाउन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी सो Always show the extended. It's it's always better to write down on both spheres, both sides. पे लिखेंगे, because everything has its pros and cons. Even meditations के भी कुछ bad effects हो सकते हैं. So oh, yes. Any other question? No. Yes. Okay. So guys, similarly, after every session, there will be speaking session on every day, and you'll get the live uh, feedback from the experts. You'll be given Q card, which is follow up questions. Honge. So basically, in speaking session, the speaking session would be in the real IELTS exam I'm talking about. It would be from 11 to 16 or 15 minutes. It may uh, extend up to 15 minutes. Three sections will be there. First section will be of journal questions. Your examiner will ask you some journal questions. Tell me something about your past studies, why you want to migrate abroad and uh, what is your favorite subject just like that second section would be of cue card in which your examiner will give you this kind of cue card you have to prepare for the topic in less than one minute now how to prepare in less than one minute we teach our students using uh, several techniques just like spider diagram wh family and other techniques and you have to speak up for minimum two minutes and how to speak up uh more than two minutes it's uh the you know we teach our students to use the power of imagination the first basic to attempt this kind of cue card is just introduce the topic in one to two lines cover all the bullet points as quickly as you can conclude the topic in one to two lines add a connector furthermore moreover additionally besides in addition to this and extend the content as long as you want how to extend use the power of imagination now what is the power of imagination so guys if examiner will ask you to describe your hometown describe it as michigan toronto melbourne if you're going to describe the real things you might fall apart you you won't find the right words to describe so if for an example examiner will ask my uh, you know ask me to describe my hometown i would say i live at ludhiana it is a cosmopolitan we have skyscrapers we have a beautiful lake on the southern side where people would love to visit in the evening we have world's renowned university in our city we have world's oldest church in our city our city is having a perfect infrastructure now guys examiner is not going to check the facts of your conversation he or she is not going to check whether world's oldest university or world's oldest church is there or not he or she is going to check your sentence structure whether you're going to achieve the task or respond the task in the right manner your fluency your grammatical things your tenses your confidence gesture language your fluency everything is going to be marked and checked thoroughly but not the facts so this is the power of imagination you can add whatever the content you would like to add it's not like you should uh, explain only you know real things you can beautify the topic with the language beautify the topic with ideas 
and uh, 